Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One and Only, and today I'm going to be playing some Dragon Blaze. And it seems uh, Teal is coming earlier than expected. I guess they're just going to release all three, apparently. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the update right now before we get into anything else. So they're releasing all three on the 14th. So everything could be coming way earlier than we expected. Everyone always thinks it's going to go as the Korean version, but not always. I kind of saw this one coming just because, you know what, it would be kind of weird for the global version to release it like last and just all by yourself. Normally when they just pair them up and stuff. So yeah, I kind of saw this one coming, but at the same time, I kind of doubted it. So let's go ahead and get into uh, Bell skills. Like always, you need a DFI ultimate bell, and you need Sasha's key ultimate. Her first skill is called Help, and increases the mass amount of damage to all enemies, and physical attacks received by enemies increase by 30% for 11 seconds. Enemies hit by the attack are also blinded, causing them to miss attacks. That sounds pretty nice. Her second skill is called Cheer Up. Increases the physical attack of all party members by 35% for 14 seconds. Applies a buff that gives additional 80% fixed damage to enemies on melee attacks. Her third skill is summoning one trans ally for 15 seconds. Huh, that gets me thinking. Is it going to be like all trans allies or is it just the heroes? That's the thing that got me uh, a little bit curious. I'm pretty sure one of you guys will know. I'm pretty sure it's just the heroes. Not sure. But do correct me and give me like, you know, a verification on that. All right, her first passive skill is Fond Memory. Increases defense of all party members by 34% and increased stamina of summons by 100%. That's pretty good because you know, you want your summons to survive for quite a while, so the time and having a lot of stamina or HP is definitely going to be quite good. Her second passive is called You're My Favorite. Oh, I I'm her favorite. What? Anywho, her second passive, upon the use of her cheer up skill, melee attack buff is increased by an additional 2% Base damage is also increased by 10%. Stacks 30 times. Jeez. What was the cooldown on Cheer Up? Eh, that's pretty nice. And plus it lasts for quite a while, so that isn't half bad. Alright, her third passive is called Lucky Day. Increases the attack speed of all party members by... 35% and increases main stats of her summons by 50%. So that means more HP onto your summons as well. So that that seems she's a really good buffer, especially for her passives. Her passives are extremely good. Her passives in and out of itself are pretty much buffs. All right, her ultimate skill is a new friend. Increases physical attack of all party members by 30%. Increases additional boss damage of all party members by 95%. That actually sounds pretty good. And King Graham, who looks extremely epic, but oh my god. Is this the nerf King Graham or is it the OP King Graham? Because King Graham, Trans King Graham, when he was released, he was like extremely OP. But then they nerfed him to the ground inside of the Korean version. So you do need a DFI King Graham ultimate. And you do need a Ragnarok Key ultimate as well. His normal attacks increases his stamina. Alright, his first skill is called Reign of Terror. Upon reaching full stack of fury, stacks can be used to deal damage to deal an attack that deals massive amount of damage, King Graham also returns a massive amount of damage he has received to all enemies. So basically damage that has been stacked up will disappear once this skill is used. All enemies hit by this attack will receive 
38% more physical damage for 14 seconds. All right, his second skill is called Madness. Increases his stamina by 100% for 12 seconds and draw in all enemy attacks on himself. Stores 100 fury per second and recovers 5% of his max HP. His final skill is called Monarch's Rage. Inflicts a massive amount of damage to all enemies. Enemies hit by this attack become too terrified to do anything for 15 seconds. Melee attack, melee damage they received is increased by 45%. Wait, well, you mean they don't do anything for 15 seconds? Do you mean they actually don't do anything for the next 15 seconds? If that is legit, this what the skill does, that is rather overpowered. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can um, be immune to that though. But geez. Alright, his first passive skill is Inspiring Figure. Increase the skill attack of all party members by 68%. Restores 15 of his max HP per second for 5 seconds when King Graham falls below 40%. Alright, that's not half bad. He's basically just so a really good tank. His second passive skill is Inner Rage. Receives one fury when hit by an attack. Inflicts additional damage by 10% of his HP when attacking enemies. So he could benefit from like stamina um stamina jewels. He could. But that is his passive though. Since everything else is dealing with stamina, you know, I don't think it would be bad, but he would be like an amazing tank. Alright, his third passive is called Legend of the King. Decrease the damage of all party members by 333%. Increase stamina by 300. That's his max skill, Jesus. That's a lot of HP you're just dealing with, buddy. You just regenerate it all. Alright, his ultimate skill is called Kings of the Heaven. Restores HP by 25% of damage inflicted. Upon the use of Roar of Rage, all party members' attack is increased by 90%. All physical attack is increased by 30%. Eh, he isn't half bad, but, but I don't think it's something that I want for my team, though. Alright, next we're going to be looking at Till, the stun goddess herself. <laughs> Alright, first you do need Deify Till ultimate, and you do need Asker Key ultimate. Next is her normal attack, she stuns enemies, that's all you need to know, apparently. Her first skill is called Light of Judgment, inflicts a massive amount of damage to one enemy, applies the judgment effect for 12 seconds. Enemies with judgment receive an additional 1,500% damage of Till's attack. An additional 800 attack is inflicted to surrounding enemies when party members attack enemies marked. By okay, that's actually pretty nice. And it's gonna be terrible if you have a taunting character and Till puts that on. Oh my god. So pretty much any character that taunts is pretty much gonna end up killing their team. So that's going to be really bad. So you gotta be careful what you bring in to your party when it comes to Teal. Alright, her next skill is called God's Fury. Remove all enemies buffs and inflicts a massive amount of damage. Enemies hit by the attack are stunned for 12 seconds. When this skill hits an enemy that is already stunned, the skill inflicts double damage and applies a guaranteed stun. Alright, next we're going to look at her third skill, and her third skill is Light Protection. Cast a shield equal to 1,380% of Till's attack for 14 seconds on all party members. Increase magic attack by 62 and recovery 
increased magic attack by 62% and cooldown recovery by 55% for all party members with the shield. That is really nice. Now I wouldn't be surprised if it does like become really good with um, Helios. So I would actually go for Till just based on her actual like activation skills right now. But let's look at her passives. All right, her first passive is increase the main stats of all party members by 62%. That's actually pretty nice. Her second passive is called Pledge of Glory. Till is immune to all debuffs and increases area of effect attacks of all party members by 35%. That is going to be nasty, but I love it. All right, her max passive is Nectar's Protection. Increase the magic damage of all party members by 35% and uses protection of light skill Attack speed of all party members is increased by 59% What is the protection of light skill is it this lights protection? Or does this apply to I'm, I'm so confused about this Huh. I'm guessing that's its own like a little effect or something. Alright, her ultimate skill is called Crusade. Increases the magic attack of all party members by 30%. God, she is heavily magic based when it comes to damage. When using Judgment of Light skill, the magic damage enemies receive increased by 42%. Yeah, she is extremely magic based. But actually, that sounds pretty pretty nice I like it all right next uh, the last thing is the max allies just increases by 10 that's just pretty much it nothing extremely special but I gotta say I'm liking till skills I might actually grab her I just gotta farm my essence but right now, I'm actually working on Helios since, you know, Chapter 5 is literally coming around the corner. I want to see everybody's progress on um, Guild Blue right now. It's almost there. I'll join in. I'll join back in after this. But I guess we'll do a couple of rounds here and just do our daily routine. Everything looks like it's going to be pretty good, so I'm looking forward to it. That I can say. Oh yeah, I did get my um, Archer gear all like... Ultimate. It is all on my Archer and Winlu right now. So hopefully we do get a higher score right now. I mean, we should, considering we got higher gear now. And that win lose ultimate. Yep, we're good. Not sure how long we're gonna live though. But progress is coming in. Now all I gotta do is farm everything for my mages and we should be good. Guild Avenger stream is going to be tomorrow as this video goes up. Um as for oh my god, Jesus, what is going on right now? Okay, we are getting a massive amount of damage out of nowhere. All right. <laughs> what, what was I saying? Before I got distracted? Oh yeah, I don't know when the next um, Ragnarok stream is going to be. I'll try to make that like Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whichever, whichever. Um, at this moment, Sunday... Me and Hollow are going to be doing something. We're not sure of what time is going to be, but we got something planned for you guys. It should be fun. But wow, this is going extremely well. Oh yeah, I did increase um, Helios too, so she could be a factor in that as well. So the stacking of shields probably could be another factor in that too. 
I'm pretty sure this boss doesn't remove, like, buffs, does it? At least I don't think it does. We're almost up to three minutes, but wow, this is a great change. But if I get all my gears for, like, the mage before the next stream, I'll probably still stream and bring in some of you guys into the, the raids just because I'm probably going to need some for, like, Hal and rogues i don't know what else oh yeah my other paladins as well they also need gear as well yeah god actually a lot i have to get that's the thing i hate about finding well like new raids you gotta find new gears you gotta pick which character has which because normally your paladin has like a shield and other paladins will have like a sword and a an orb you're just sitting there like, why can't I just have the orb or they can have the shield? My light does not want to stay on. There we go. But yeah, it should be fun, right? To get all those gears and be annoyed. I still got quite a bit of breakstone, so I don't have to worry about those for a while. Since I don't have the gears that I actually want right now... There's a huge guarantee that I'm going to be doing the Fallen Ragnarok streams quite, quite a bit. And I love getting you guys into those raids just because it's like, it's way more fun with others. And plus you guys actually know how I do things. Oh, well, Helios is out. When I mean you guys basically know how I do things, it's basically... Don't bring revive scrolls. Revival scrolls are the best and keeps you alive and healthy. Revive Scrolls just murder you and your whole team and it just wastes your tickets and your badges. You, you definitely don't want to waste those. They're so precious. A really good increase in damage but not a not a good increase in like survivability right now. But that's a given where we are right now. But when they said chapter 5 is like close, I didn't think they were like, hey, it's extremely close because we're releasing Till along with King Graham and, uh, and Bell. So I'm just sitting here like, oh, okay, well then. Is it that great? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it because that gets me way closer to Encanter. Because I do want the Encanter class like so bad right now. I'm really looking forward to it. When let's not have a solo match right now. I'm gonna need you to die. Thank you. I want to see is what's our best. Oh, Winlu was adding on to that. Oh, hey, 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 when. Why do I always passively do that? I think I'm so used to actually farming <laughs> that it's gotten so bad. Alright. So is that our highest score? Yes, it is. It is our highest score. So we definitely are passing. See guys, we're making progress. We're making lots of progress. Well, actually, it's been a while since I've tapped on this, right? What was our last score? Not bad. But this was last time, and Winlu wasn't ultimate. But some people probably are getting way high scores with um, Lucy right now. I guess we could do like at least five uh, tag team matches since I'm pretty sure that's what is up right now, right? Yeah. Let's do at least five. Do I want to change anything? I do want to change uh, Winlu's place because I have a feeling I want to have her like weighted off just a little bit.
Hal, you go right there. Give her a shield back, because she's going to need that. As for... You... I want you to hang on to... This. And I want you to hang on to this. Just to mess with people. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Oh, well. <laughs> Not gonna be messing with anybody right now. It's been so long since I saw normal Kamel. She still ha looks so weird in that bulky armor. And Margaret still looks so adorable in DFI. Alright, that's that's one, guys. Yep, that one counted. Oh my god. Maybe I should have just waited until the afternoon. I noticed nobody ever used these emotions. They need way more emotes in here. The number of emos they can literally have in here, they need way more. Death Krama, I'm gonna need you to stop doing what you're doing and die, please. Alright, next, number two. Alright, we're getting into the more BP people. More BP as in Death Crown never wanting to die. Oh, just so you guys know, I'm I still hate Death Crown. It hasn't changed from like the story itself. I still hate him. And mostly the reason that my hate for Death Crown evolved. Some of you guys probably don't know this because this was like way back in my videos when I started like actually doing a series on this. Inside of Tower, Death Crown would literally stop me from progressing and he would literally one shot my whole team. That is why I dislike Death Crown. He has been a pain in my rear end. There's a little bit of lure right there. <laughs> Alright, next. Oh, this guy has mostly keys. Well, at least he has something. Instead of deifies. About to say, what are you gonna do? Nuke punch me? Yeah. The sad part is, you can't nuke punch me. Anyway, just because I have a bodyguard, you'll be nuke punching him if instead, if anything. Yeah, I was about to say, if you're going to stake his sealed, I'll switch to Winlu and end you. This really seems like an unfair matchup. Because it is. Now, if his keys were ultimate, he probably would have had a, a pretty good chance. Apparently, he killed something. I, I, I don't know what he killed. Alright. Well, guys, it seems like we're not going to get any, like, extremely powerful matches today. Man, come on. I'm going to do one more after this. Because we can't end it off like that. Oh... All right, Thanatos, I see you with the damage. You're gonna have to chill. Thanatos almost one-shotted the hell out of me. Nearly did.
I love Thanatos. I'm gonna miss him. Alright, last one. Last one. Game. I said it's the last one. Jeez. Search somebody. How much you wanna bet? When I turn this, like, whole recording off, I'm gonna get, like, the most OP person next. Because it always happens. As soon as I'm just, like, on a win streak, I turn off the camera, and then it's just like, oh, hello. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for doing that. We're going to do one more. We're not going to go out on somebody leaving. All right, we'll go out on this note. I know I said five matches, but you know, we, we kind of snuck in a little bit, okay? Just, just a little bit. I mean, you guys can't complain. <laughs> She survived by like a slither HP. Can we bring her back up so she can die? I'm sorry, Winlu. You haven't been out here at all. Yeah. That concealment. I am really curious as to what's going on there. <laughs> I'm so curious. Just a whole bunch of misses. Yeah, that Slither HP needs to go, please. Alright guys, that's pretty much all we're going to do for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this was a little bit, you know, a little bit more of a longer video. Well, well, it's been like 40 minutes of recording, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Till then, I will see you guys next time on the next video or live stream. Peace out.